Hello, this is a video on how to play Old Maid. Now, Old Maid is a very simple card game, and so it's quite easy to understand. Um, and so, this video will be a short video, um, and um, many of you may have played um, Old Maid before. Um, so just a little bit about the history of Old Maid. So it's a very old game. Um, so it fits the name. Uh, it was made in about the Victorian era. Um, and so the objective is that, I mean, there's no real winner of Old Maid. Uh, there's just a loser. And the loser usually has to do something that the, the other players want him to do. Um, and so what do you need for Old Maid? And so if you're playing in real life, uh, you need... A standard 52 card deck and you're going to remove one queen so you'll be left with a 51 card deck and old maid can be played with two or more players uh, there's not really a limit on the uh, number of players um, but obviously if you have more players each player has less cards um, but other than that you can play with as many players as you want and so uh, players are dealt one card at a time until all the cards have been dealt and it's okay and it'll probably happen uh, where uh, some players have extra cards or more cards than others and so let's just uh, sort of um, start the game and we'll show you the deal so you can see that the dealing is happening clockwise here um, and every player was just given one card at a time until all the cards ran out and so the objective of the game is to discard cards by pairing up cards in your hand. Um, and you want to avoid being the, la being the player holding the odd queen. And notice how we discarded a queen. There's three queens uh, in the deck. And so if you pair up two of them and discard them, you have one queen left. The player holding that queen is the old maid. And so f when you're starting the game, you first look at your cards and you place any pairs face down in front of them. So every player removes all of their pairs, right? Because you discard uh, cards by removing pairs. And so let's just look at the pairs we have. We have a 10 and a 10. Um, let's look here. We have a jack and a jack. We also have a 7 and a 7. And so you see every player just playing their cards. We also have a 6 and a 6. And so every player has discarded all of their pairs and now at this point the player to the left of the dealer starts the gameplay and so in real life uh, whoever dealt the cards the player to the left of them starts the gameplay um, in this version I'm starting the game and you draw you start the game now this is a quite an interesting game you draw a card from the player behind you and so the player behind me in this case the player to my right because we're going clockwise right and so when you're going uh, in a clock, the player, um, in this case, the player to my right would be the player behind me because he's at the three o'clock position and I'm at the six o'clock position. And so six o'clock uh, is after three o'clock. And so the player at the three o'clock position is behind me. And so I look at his deck and I have to draw a card. And now I can't see the cards. And so this is kind of random. It's kind of luck. But you draw a card and you try to pair it up with the cards you have. And so I'll pick the card uh, in the middle. That's a six. And so you, you, didn't, you didn't catch what happened there because that was very quick. Um, but I just drew a six. And I couldn't make a pair. And so if I could make a pair. So if I drew, let's say, a four. I have a four in my hand, and so I place that four down. I place those two cards down in the middle pile, creating a pair. And so if you can create a pair uh, with a card that you just drew from the uh, player's deck, the player behind you, um, so if you can create a, pa uh, a pair with the cards that you drew from the player behind you, you create that pair and you put it in the middle. If not, you hold on to that card. In this case, the player to my left, um, uh drew drew that the six from me that i drew he created a pair he put it down and the player directly across from me drew a player uh drew a card from the player to my left and he used that to make a pair as well the player to my right 
uh, it has five cards now and I have to draw one of them. And so you just do this, right? You just So you start the game off, discard all your pairs, and then you just draw cards from the player behind you in an attempt to make pairs and discard more cards. The player with the queen remaining. Once all players have discarded their cards, there'll be one player left with a queen remaining. That player is the old maid. They are the loser and they have to go and do something that the other players want them to do. And so it's a quite a simple game, and you'll get the hang of it when we play here. Um, let's go with um, drawing the far right card here. That's a three, that does create a pair. And so I take that three and put it in the middle. Um, and so they drew cards as well, and this is quite quick, and I apologize. Um, let's draw Jack. Uh, we can't do that. And the player to my left actually drew the queen from my hand, and so I'm quite safe. As long as I don't draw a queen from someone else, I'm safe. And so, once again, you just keep going until you can make pairs. Um, in this case, we can't really make any pairs right now. And so that, that's a blank card. Uh, in this case, uh, it probably just didn't load properly. Uh, but we have a four there, and so we can make a pair right there. Um, and so we have a nine there. We can make a pair right there. And so we're not, we can't be a loser. And... The reason is because when we have one card left, the player in front of us, in this case the player at the 9 o'clock position, has to draw that one card from our deck, right? Because you draw a card from the player behind you, and so once all your cards uh, are gone, uh, you've, you're not the loser, right? If you're not the last player. And so we didn't lose the game, and so that's the objective. Uh, the player to my left has the blank white I guess queen so in this version it's marked by just being blank white in real life it just be the last queen left and so the player to my left is the loser they are the old maid uh because they have um uh, the last queen so it's so it's quite a simple game there's not much to it uh, and so uh, that's it uh and thank you guys